Hello and welcome to the Sports Pitch Podcast, the Round 6 NRL Preview. Yes, sir. How are you, Moi? I'm good, buddy. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Billy's in here for some unforeseen circumstances. Uh, always unforeseen circumstances. Always. Now, here's the little... All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you weren't here the last episode. You were at work. I was. I was stuck at work, yeah. unfortunately. But uh, Would you time finish at 1.30 or something? Yeah, finish at 1.30 in the morning. Uh, had damn. A, had a double shift. Damn. Yeah. But yes, uh, uh, all the Muslims out there, it is Eid. And, um, Indeed. We hope you had a great day. Yes, all hopefully right, many uh, more to come. That's right, inshallah. And how was yours? Well, mine was chill, really. Yeah, not Didn't too busy. do much, no. Yeah, all right. Went to the in-laws, nice. went to the parents, and nice. literally went home. Beautiful. I was fresh, not going to be bothered. Yeah, it's tiring. It's, it's, it's a big day. It is. It's a very big day. You, but know, what, you know what I couldn't be bothered for, and you'd probably understand this tomorrow. Tell me. Taking the kids out, putting them back in. You've got one. One. I've got to strap him, take him out, strap him, take him out. It's such a drag. Yeah, when you have two, it's it feels so. It feels more than double. I don't know why I've been like burdened with this. My wife, my wife should really be doing this. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. But you know, women can't live with them. You can't live without them. One hundred percent. But you know, what do you do? It is. What, what it do is. you do? Indeed. All right. Uh, all right. Let's get into it straight mm, away. All right. Let's do it. Um, kick us off Thursday night game. Okay, a big game. All right. Knights versus Roosters. Knights are favourite for this game at McDonald's Jones Stadium. It is a big game. Knights coming off the win against the Dragons, yeah. which we're gonna, we couldn't get your uh, input on uh, last episode because, like we said, you were at work. Yeah. But and the Roosters who, as well, we couldn't get, get your input on. Uh, Knights coming off the win. Roosters coming off a loss. The big news is Dominic Young out suspended. How long did he get? I didn't. I didn't look into it. <sighs> Three weeks? I can't remember, but it's a, it a fair whack, right? Yeah. James Tedesco out for now, it's a week, but could be more knowing his history with the HIAs. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's out for minimum at least a week. And Sam yeah, Walker. Yeah. Also, the same thing. Out as well. Okay, in their replacements, John Manu goes to fullback. And when he went to fullback against the Dogs, fuck, he looked good. He looked good. He looked very good. And mm. you know, wherever you put him, he's going to play well. Yeah, 100%. But I feel like against the Roosters, uh, sorry, against the Dogs. I wasn't here to put my input. If they didn't they try to use him as much, because towards the back end of the game, they started going, Joey Manu, Joey Manu, Joey Manu, he started making errors. Yeah. Knock on after knock on. They, tr- if they, they, if they, they went rely- to him a lot. If they rely on him this game as well, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. But, yeah, so you got Joey Manu goes to fullback. You got Michael Jennings coming in, playing at centre. 300th game. 300th game, which the NRL said we're not going to acknowledge. because of believe it. He's passed, uh, you know, discretions with in, in, in footy, but we'll talk about that soon. Mm. All right. And then you have uh, Porga coming in for Dominic Young, who Porga, when he's been called upon in the past, has done, his job. Has done a job. Yeah, yeah. All right. Good. And I think Dominic Young has been fucking useless. Very, very much so useless. Besides finishing off tries, he offers nothing to the team. That's it. All right. And then uh, cover, Luke Curry moves to halfback. Connor Watson comes in at 5'8". So the replacements they have are pretty handy replacements. Well, very handy, yeah. Right. Um, again, the forward rotation, you can never tell. This year with the Roosters, I don't know what the hell Robinson's doing. <laughs> He's been changing up every week. Every every He's week. been swearing about this every week. He can't stand it, but anyway, so you don't know what's going on with the forward pack, but as it stands right now, Terrell May is on the bench, which a lot of people are going to be upset with, especially He'll still get big coach. minutes, surely. Still well, last minutes. week they had 15 players at one point, 15 players. And he's still only got like 20-something minutes. Which is very odd because he's been one of their best forwards. Of the, he's been their best forward. Literally. All right. But Angus Crichton keeps his spot and fuck well deserved because he killed it last week. And we move on to the Knights who no big outs. The only real inclusion on the extended bench is uh, is Greg Mazu. All right. He is looking like he's going to come back. But Jenkins, uh, you know, maybe not scoring as much tries as Mazu would, but defensively he's been very good he's for the Knights. He, he had a few errors against the Dragons. But yeah. But other defensively, other than that, he's done his job. Defensively, he's been very, very good. Yeah. All right. Um, this is a game that honestly, it's we say it every week. If they can hold the ball, they'll they win. They should. Game. They should win. Yeah. Yeah. If they can hold the ball, but that's the problem with the Roosters. We don't know if they're gonna hold the ball. It's not wet weather footy like it, it was isn't. last week. It so isn't. there's a bigger chance they can hold the ball. But uh, I know you're gonna ask who do I go. For? Who am I who gonna do you tip? Think's gonna win? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Newcastle Knights. Do you think the Knights? Well, um, I don't see the Roosters losing three in a row. Oh, they did last year. They did, yeah, but like, and especially like the performance they put up last last week, that has to shove a rocket up their ass. 
Well, they played well in the second half. So they did, especially with at one point eleven men. Yeah, I know that was towards the back end of the game, but yeah. fuck with even twelve men. Yeah, they to come back after being down twenty six nil to keep their head up and get those points back. Yeah, big big. I think Roosters win this. I think Roosters win this. Yeah, and if they do lose, they like Bill said uh, on yesterday's episode, they're gonna sit in the bottom four. You, oh, you reckon? Yeah, they, they'll be sitting in the bottom four. Yeah, but not right for now. long. Not for long. Not for long, but it's still a place that the Roosters should not be in. No, 100%. No. And there's a team that me and you tipped to be in the grand final, yeah? Yeah. And Bill. Oh, yeah. We also they're going to be in the grand final. So well, it's still early days, but I reckon the Knights might get in by six. Yeah, all right. But depending got, on what Ponga shows up. I probably got Roosters by 10. Yeah. I think the Roosters will perform. All right, move on. Friday night, Amy Park, Melbourne versus the Bulldogs. Mm. All right, let's talk about the ins and outs. Big so reshuffle for you guys as well. You've had a lot massive, of fucking casualties. Massive. A lot of injuries from last week's game. Like a lot. I mean, so a lot. So many casualties in that one game. Bro. Yeah, it was a very, very fucking uh, brutal, brutal game. The of weather footy. did not help. No, not at all. Brutal game of all footy. Right, yeah. All right. Oh, before we get to the Bulldogs uh, storm, Michael Jennings. Yeah, right, bro. Let's not skip over that. So he's playing his 300th game, and the NRL came out and said, we're not going to be acknowledging it. I don't like that. I don't like that either. I don't see the point. Why would you re-register his contract if there's still beef there, right? 100%. Put whatever happened in the past in the past and continue Bro, he forward. You re-signed time. him. He done his time. He done his time. time sorry. He done his time. You've re-signed him to an NRL contract. Yeah. Move past it. 100%. The bloke's done his time. He's, he's made the effort to play 300 games. Bloke's not young and he's a veteran of the game. 100%. Origin winner. Grand final winner. He's done a lot for rugby league. 100%. A lot, at least give him the recognition. 300 games is not fucking easy. Not a lot of people come Not easy. It. Not and how long was he out for? <laughs> two two years suspension, I think it was? Yeah. With a two year suspension, he still played 300 games. That is big. This is someone who's put a lot of his time, life, effort into rugby league. There's not a lot of people that don't know who Michael Jennings is. He's made a name for himself in the game. Yeah. And acknowledge him. 100%. Right? Right. Uh, even if it's something small, but don't come out and say, we're not going to acknowledge it. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I reckon it's disrespectful. 100% it is. 100% why it why is. are you targeting him? There's a lot of a lot of footy players out there make make errors, big fuck-ups. They still get acknowledged in the game. Completely agree. Give him his respect, bro. Completely agree. Well, Andrew John's got immortalised. Yeah, li- oh yeah, literally. Look at his rap sheet. Yeah, we don't want to go through that rap sheet. Come on. it's I don't know what it was. Double standards, but... Well, the Roosters fans apparently are doing a drive for him. I hope so, because he deserves it, man. Especially for the Roosters. That guy was a legend for the Roosters. Oh, yeah. He's legend. been a veteran. All right. Depending on them. 100%. I completely agree with you. Um, now let's get into the Bulldogs, uh, the Storm Bulldogs game. All right. So, Melbourne are 1 through 17. All right. And then you got the Bulldogs. Like we said, a lot of outs. Mm. So, you have the big ones, Black Taff out. And for me... <sighs> That's that, a up. That's a bonus. The 20 minutes against the Roosters that he played was the best 20 minutes I've ever seen him play. Yeah. Rabbitohs, Bulldogs, doesn't matter. It's he like he had a point to prove. So good. He had a point to prove. And then he got knocked no, out. No, not Rabbitohs, but not with both teams. What do you mean? When he played Jews in the Rabbitohs jersey, he absolutely knocked you. Yeah, that he did. He destroyed us, but we were shit. Yeah, but it's still a good game. He was shit. Yeah, but I think he, that 20 minutes, he looked so good. Try And a try assist in 20 minutes. Mm. And he ran down fucking Dominic Young. I want to say run down. He ran across. Yeah, but he still got him. He got him. He pumped him. He pumped him. I don't know why Dominic Young didn't just step back in. Yeah, no one knows. It makes no sense. I don't know who you think you are. <laughs> the guy had a 10 metre head start. He put his head down and just beat line. Start, tried. But anyway, Black Taff's out. Harrison Edwards, of course, got knocked out. He's out. And Kurt Mann is out as well. Mm. All right. So in replacement, we finally get to see Stephen Crichton at fullback. You seen him last week at fullback? We seen him for 20 minutes, uh, for uh, just over two, one half of football. How'd that go? He didn't look good. No, he didn't. He not. didn't look good, but. I want to see him for 80 minutes with a full team. Let's see how it goes. I promise you, you're not going to be happy with the result. Let's see how it goes. I, I, I want to see it just so I can get out of my system. I want to get out of my I system. F- I feel like you have other choices there that will do good. I, I thought he would name... Um, Connor Tracy? No, no, no. Oh, I forgot his name. Papali'i. Joash Papali'i. Apparently, fucking massive thing coming out of the Bulldogs. He team, looks man. very, very good. I thought he'd give him a go. He's not going to give him a go. But I want to see Stephen Crichton. And there's no bigger test than Melbourne. There's Definitely. honestly you can't be a bigger. See, get a that's that's the problem. When you go safe against Melbourne, well, let's see it. Yeah, you let's know see. It. It's either you're gonna he's gonna fucking fly or, or drown. He's a float. He's gonna float or drown. Float or drown. Yeah. He's definitely this oh, you know what? Makes a lot more for sense. For your sake, I hope he does all right. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh, Con- uh, sorry. Uh, Addo Car back on the wing. Bronson yeah. Jerry keeps his spot. I wanted to bring this up. I completely forgot. But Bronson Jerry and Michael Jennings. Crazy that the two comebacks happened. The two drug cheats. 
<laughs> Come back against each fa- other. Facing off. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, but no. Yeah, they did last week. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. They I both were confused. I was like, this game, no. No, no, not. last week. All right, but Bronson Jerry keeps his spot and he looked good without being, you know. Uh, He's not flashy, special. but he gets his job done. 100%. All right, without special. And the one challenge on the bench is uh, Bailey Haywood makes his debut. You He's like a, him? I do. I really like him. Yeah. He looks really good. Right? Uh, young hooker. Mm. Right? He's been one of our best players in the lower grades. Chris Keating. Uh, looks exactly like Chris <laughs> Keating, right? But, you know, hopefully he just does, never throws an intercept. Mm. Uh, Dragons Well, fans, he did already. He's loved that. Sort of. In the well, yeah, he made an error. He threw it on the ground. Yeah. Lost uh, his game. He, d- he did against the Sharks in the trial. But anyway, no, he does look good. In the trials, I know you don't like it, you don't rate the trials, but he did look good in the yeah, trials. Yeah, so, but this is, it's completely different. It 100% is different, but different. it looks like he knows his trade. Yeah, yeah, he, he looks like a really good hooker, right? He comes in on the bench, and Melbourne are 1 through 17, like I said, mm. okay? The Bulldogs coming off a big win, Melbourne with Munster back, and Munster's only going to get be- better as time goes on. He was pretty quiet last week. Pop, he's just done his job, but slowly, slowly, he's going to ease in back into the league. Jerome Hughes is playing career best footy. That's, He's looking amazing. That's exactly what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. The big thing wasn't Munster coming back yeah. last week. It was Jerome, Jerome Hughes. Hughes coming back last week. He looked very what good. What the fuck is that? His yeah, running game is unbelievable. unbelievable. What a freak. Yeah, he looked unbelievable. If your forwards aren't up to par, he's going to run a mark. Yeah, 100%. And I think last week our forwards really didn't matter in the wet weather. No. Okay? This this should be dry football because looking at the forecast, it yeah, looks nothing. like it's going to be dry. Storm versus Bulldogs, who do you have? Melbourne by 10. Plus, 10 plus. Oh, 10 plus. Mm. Mm. Same scoreline as the Roosters you gave. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> uh, I got Melbourne by four. No way, bro. Yeah, I got Melbourne by no four. No way, bro. I got, I think, you I can't think judge wet weather footy compared to dry weather. No, it's not about that. It's I think we, we, we've... we We're not playing dumb footy. Like our last, up, up, our last three games, we've actually kicked the corners. We're trying to play smart and... Uh, the, the best thing, and I've seen this in the trial, and I said the one thing that impressed us about, about that impressed me with the doggies in the trials mm. was our uh, the defensive line speed. Yeah, is that move up in? We the line. move up as a line, mm. and as soon as you do that, you put teams off. Now, but saying that against Melbourne, you move up too quick. You, you have players like Munster, Hughes, Pappenhausen, Grant. and Hughes. A uh, Grant, sorry, who can rip you? Yeah, literally. So this can go two they ways. They find the smallest. It's either we close them down or. They're going to fucking ream us through the middle. Do you not... Look, this is the thing. If you just die in the ass like you did against the Roosters in the second half, there's going to be a big problem because you aren't going to get a 26 new lead against no. uh, against Melbourne. No. No when, when We'd never get a 26-point lead. So if you can't play that for 80 minutes, you're going to get... Yeah, I, I agree. But that's why I have Melbourne by four. Mm, that's All right. Um, do I see us winning? Honestly, I, if, if we're good enough, if we're there, we can. But I just think Melbourne... You good. have to play the 80 minutes. Yeah, 100%. You have to. 100%. If we play 70 minutes, we lose. Yeah. yeah. You can't 70, get my window. Yeah. Melbourne, you can't no get my way. window. No way. All right. And then we move on. Big, big game. All right. So the Brisbane Derby, the Broncos versus Dolphins at mm. Suncorp, right? Broncos are favourites for this game. Um, Dolphins riding high on top of the ladder. Number one, baby. Coming first, the probably the most entertaining team to watch in the NRL right I love now. Watching them. They are very, very entertaining to watch. The Dragons got them back in their group, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, they fucking right, put them right back on straight track. Into form. All right. Ins and outs, all right. Broncos big ones, Adam Reynolds out, Dean Mariner out. Okay. Adam Reynolds being out is is huge, huge man. Humongous. Huge. Right? Let's talk about Dolphins because they have some big outs themselves. Feliz Cafusi out. Mm. Suspended? I can't remember. Yeah, but yeah, I think he... Herbie Farnworth out for a long period of time with that. Uh, I think it was a peck injury. Mm. And Kurt Donahue out. But I think it was his shoulder, wasn't it? It was his shoulder peck injury. I wasn't sure. But he got injured and I think it's going to be like around six weeks. Yeah, that's big. Uh, AC joined, I think, in the shoulder. Which he is, has been big for them. He's been very good. Yeah. He's been very good. And he's a gun player. <laughs> he will be missed. You've got Tessie New coming in who's going to replace him. Rough. He's not a like for like replacement. No, one hundred percent not. Where where Herbie Farnworth, his biggest aspect is his defense. Yeah, yeah. his defense is on point. Tessinu has zero defense. That's the problem, and he doesn't. And and also, if you're going to compare the both, Herbie Farnworth's attack is a lot sharper than Tessinu. Uh, Tessinu is a lot more explosive. Yeah, a lot more explosive, but his defense is very below par. Yeah, and you can't very have him. Par. You can't have him in the centers. Yeah, he's a winger. Yeah, 100%. He's a winger. But anyway, so that's what we have now. Reese Walsh back for the Broncos. Big, big in. Yeah. Right. 
way before expected. Yeah. He came back way yeah, before expected. Weeks? Uh yeah, by two weeks. So his back was a massive in. Jock Madden comes in to replace um good old uh what's his name? Adam Reynolds. Mm. And is it Jesse Arthurs? No, it's not Jesse Arthurs. Who is who's the other one? Corey Oates, back on the wing for the Broncos. Good old Oates. He's been around since yeah, since hey day. <laughs> All right. Since a lot, it's been a I've, long time this bug's been around. I feel like the Ma- Marin will be a big miss too, bro. He's been their speed outlet. He has. He's he been really so has. Because Jesse Arthur isn't the quickest player. No. So when Cobo isn't the quickest player, no. Stag isn't the quickest player, Marin was all their speed. And Corey Oates is not going to bring that speed. No, no. But Corey Oates does give you a different point of attack. Oh, he's got the good ju- high game. That's what it is on last. But the kick is Adam Reynolds is missing. Mm. So it's like that sharp kick. Jock Madden does have a decent kicking game, but it's not winning Adam Reynolds, yeah. right? And then the rest are pretty much uh, the same. The props, uh, Payne Hart still waiting on his return. Uh, Xavier Willison, at least, is named on the bench. All right, and Takura, the big fella. Uh, I want to see how big his what his he's actual six, height seven is. Seven or something. He is. How tall is he? He's tall. He's like two hundred and four. Where's his? Where's his? Uh, oh, doesn't want to tell me how tall he is. Okay, I'm pretty so. sure the commentator said he's, he's over two four. He so is cool. he is so tall, but he's taller than uh, Nelson. Yeah, he's tall. He's the tallest player in the NRL. Yeah. He's the tallest registered rugby league player in the NRL. He's been dropped, but you know, for his debut, he looked really good. He's got to try. Got to make yeah, the game. Yeah, looked really good. All right, but uh, yeah, this is gonna be a game where Broncos are listed as favourites. Yeah, I don't know how. Don't you? No, I don't. Know. I honestly don't know how. I feel like they step up against the Dolphins. Well, like last year this is our house type of thing. Yeah, it, it is. This is a derby. Yeah, and they're both going pretty well. Broncos with the injuries and it's just like hasn't been consistent, right? Yeah, they come in eleventh. The Dolphins are flying high at first. Eleventh, the Broncos. Eleventh, yeah. I see. I see the Dolphins winning this game. Yeah, yeah. I got Dolphins as well. Yeah, I see the Dolphins. But winning. not by a margin. No, four. and I, I feel like it's very risky to tip the Dolphins because the Broncos are a derby type team. Like they, they, they fire up for it. Or every Especially derby. this Cowboys one. Cowboys derby, uh, now Dolphins derby, they're going to fire Especially up. this one. But I do see Dolphins just being too much firepower, man. Yeah. Too much firepower. Especially with the hammer firing. I feel if like he a comes sneeze out coming on, but I'm not sneezing. Got sniffles, so, mate? Yeah. I feel like if the hammer comes out and performs. Yeah, th- there's no one to stop him. Yeah. Honestly, there's no one to stop him. All right, move on. Warriors v Manly. Oh, was, baby. A Go Media Stadium in Auckland. Auckland. All right. Let's go through ins and outs. Okay, they're only out for... The Warriors is Bunty Afoa. The big out for Manly no. is, yeah, big Bunty's out. Fred's not going to be happy with that. The big out for Manly is, uh, yeah, Fred loves him. All right. <laughs> Shout out, Fred. All yeah. right. And um, big out for Manly is Ruben Garrick. He's replaced by Ben Travojevic. In the centres. In the centres. <laughs> all right. And through all that, which means that Ben Travojevic moves from second row to the centres. Mm. Uh, Corey Waddell moves into the starting spot. And then uh, is it Ethan Bullimore comes in to replace him on the bench. You look at the extended re- the reserves. You look at it, bang, 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 bang. All good. Still no sign of uh, Schuster. Schuster. Well, you said the news today, didn't you? We'll talk about it right after <laughs> we get through this game, right? So still no sign of Schuster. Mm. All right, he looks like he's on the way out, but we'll talk about what, what we yeah. think is going to happen with him. Yeah, All right, Warriors. We're telling the Nesnag back in. Yeah, right, begin. Kurt Capewell back in. Big in. Massive in. All right. And then you got Tua uh, Tua Picky named on the extended bench. All right. Who been killing it, but I don't think there's a spot for him anymore. No. He done his job. He done fantastic when he was there. But Charles Dickel Clockstad last week absolutely killed it. Roger. Roger on, on in the center, still ran for nearly 200 meters. Mm-hmm. Killed it. Yep. All right. Scored a try as well. Who do we have in this game? Because this is a game, it's sixth versus seventh. Two teams who. They're fucking playing great footy, right? When they want, especially mainly when they want to, Warriors will be way more consistent. 100%, but mainly if they want to be the best in the comp, they can be the best. Yeah, in they the can. Comp. Easily. They can. But I do have the Waz in this game. Yeah, I have to go Waz. I really do. Sean they, Johnson's playing <laughs> unbelievable footy. They're all, they're all, all of them. Yeah. All of them. Their weakest link is Rocco Berry, and he's still playing fucking he's, solid. He's a good player. He is. That's yeah, their weakest he's a good link. Player. That's crazy. But they have been so good. Yeah, so... What, is Wade Egan playing? Wade Egan is he playing. He is a, come out probably one of the best hookers in, in the comp right Wade now. Wade Egan last week played such a great game. He's so good, bro. He, I think he ran seven times, right? Mm-hmm. But each of those seven times created something. Yeah, he's so slippery. Where did he come from? 
He came from Penrith. Penrith. Did he? Yeah, Fuck Penrith. Me, what a player. Yeah, very good player. Yeah, very good player. I'm surprised Penrith, Penrith didn't keep him. They got fucked. Well, they had Coruscant. Yeah, that's true. That's why he left. Yeah, you can't they had Coruscant. Yeah, but yeah. no, I, he's playing fucking unbelievable. I thought last year was his best year ever. He's actually gone better. He's gone to another level. Hundred percent. And and we were talking about how Metcalf was out and he might put a dent in their attack. Tamara and Martin. Looks great. Oh my god, tomorrow Martin, what a game! He's keeping um, that Ch- 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 Chanel Harris Tavita, whatever his name is. He's keeping him out of the game. Yeah, out of, and out he's of a freak. And Chanel Harris Tavita is a very good yeah. player. He's so good, very good player. He's named on the bench. Yeah, that's where he's got him. Tomorrow Martin, like, you have to have him there because you just have to have him there. Yeah, just in case. But he's a good player. So, Har- Chanel Harris Tavita can do it, come in and do a job yeah. anywhere you put him. Easily, he's a very good Easily. player. But just talking about Wade Egan, he's from Lithgow. New South Wales boy, country the field. way he's playing, country boy as well, mm. the way he's playing, he'll be a fucking smoky if Origin. Oh, yeah, he should Straight out. He's, he's surely in the conversation. It, it's got to be between him and... And like Appy. I completely forgot about Appy. Him, Appy and uh, Cowboys. Uh, fucking... Your mate, fuck for Reese Robson. Reese Robson. They're the three. Well, you know what, I'd put, I'd put um, him over Reese Robson. The way he's playing, I'd put him over Reece, Reece Robson. Reece Robson's only, killing it. Yeah, the only reason you have Reese Robson there, defense. his defence yeah. is freakish. Def- Reese Robson does not miss a tackle. Yeah, his defence is yeah, on par with the best. Yeah. But... But uh, Appy surely gets it. Yeah, it has to be Appy. It has to be Appy. He's Been carrying there, the no, Tigers. Yeah. Man. All right, so Warriors, we both have Warriors. Yeah, Give me a score line. Oh, fuck. Like 28-20. Oh, you think eight points? Yeah. I think like two, bro. Nah. Ruben Garrick out conversions. Sean Johnson kicking goals. I don't think he's missed a conversion this if year. If Ben Trevojevic is lining up against Roger, good luck. Yeah, I think whoever bro, Roger comes up against is going to give him nine yeah. straight out. Yeah, but uh, that's a second row in the centre spot. Yeah, that is true. But yeah, no, let's. Uh, we've got up to fucking wires. Can you yeah. see the flag? You no, can't, can't see the flag, but the flag's there. We'll get it up somewhere. All right. Well, yeah, we'll put it up on the wall when the signage comes in. <laughs> Send it for a month. Wall. All right. We've been busy, man. Just, uh, just watch the podcast. Yeah, that's all that matters. The backdrop's nice, white, clean. That's all that right. matters. All right. Uh, next game we get into, Eels, Cowboys. All right, you've got 14th <laughs> for a second. Fuck me, bro. This game is going to be... Uh, One-sided. It's going to be, uh, yeah. But I thought last la- I thought last week the Cowboys should have been better than what they were. Yeah, they made a lot of errors. Saying that, I thought Para were probably the poorest team you last know, week. Yeah. Saying that. In a week that South got mopped by the Warriors, I still think Parramatta were the worst team. Yeah, I agree. Honestly, I agree. And the Cowboys did like they gave a lot of opportunity away yeah. against the Titans, but they won't do that twice. No, no they way. They won't do it twice. No They'll way. come out and put an absolute flogging on Parra this week. That's what I reckon. But let's talk about it. So the ins and outs you got: uh, Dejan Arce comes in for uh, Blaze Talagai. Yes. Yeah, All right. Way. Uh, Dylan Brown stays at, uh, at a halfback. You got um, Bryce Cartwright making his comeback, and he's been a massive, massive out for them because when he was playing, Bro, he he's was playing his best footy. He was probably their best player, right? Cowboys, you got Zach Lobart out, who again we we spoke about it yesterday. Me and Bill out for the season with an ACL, poor unfortunately. Kid. Yeah, poor guy. He's started the season off very well yeah, on a high. Got his opportunity. He earned that position as well through the trials. Mm. Unfortunately for him, done his ACL. Who's replacing him? Uh, Tom Chester. Uh, yeah. All right, he's he's he's, he's a, a fullback. He's every yeah, he's a fullback, and he's he's every he can do a job anywhere. But Tom Chester is uh, is his replacement. Now, let's talk about this game. We both have the Cowboys. Easily, yeah, we both have the Cowboys. I think the way Scott Drinkwater's playing, the way Tom Dearden's playing, the way Valentine Holmes is playing, Reese Robson, Townsend, Townsend, right. They're looking fucking really good. On fire, bro. They're looking really good. If they keep this up, they can easily be in the top eight, and none of us had them in the top eight. Yeah, I, I agree. And they're coming second right now. Yeah. It's literally Dolphins and Cowboys first how and second. How crazy is that? I have no idea how. We but didn't have either of them in the top eight. That's, that's, uh, that's how it is right now. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, then let's talk about Para, right? So their biggest problem right now is I don't think Dylan Brown is stepping up to the plate. Well, we said it when it first happened. When Moses got injured and they named him at seven, he cannot lead. He does not look like he can lead a team. He's a runner every day of the week. I, I agree. I, I think they need a, a organizing half next 100%. to him. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But Dylan Brown is a good enough player to take this role on. Like this is the next step. This is the next level above. Right. This is, yeah. Well, this this is what separates him from being a five eight and a half back. Yeah, but this is what. Se- but there's a lot of five eights, right? Like for example, when Cleary gets injured. Mm. 
and then Luai's becomes that man, the main yeah. guy, right? Yeah. Luai thrives in that role. We're saying it's been rocks and diamonds. But most of the time, their record without without it's, uh, yeah, it's good. Cleary is like, I think they've won over the past three seasons. I shouldn't say one, but I, I think they've lost like four games without him. But I feel like they bring in even just, uh, they f- they bring in a calm, collected head as a 5'8", yeah. usually. Last year was Kogga. Bringing him in, he's, he can organise the game. Who's this? Oh, Pedro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they, Luai's always had that. That organizer with There's him. someone with him. Yeah, but he still he steps up, right? Yeah, he now, does, he does. Dejan Asi is a 5'8". Yeah. Right, so if Dylan Brown can just... If he can get him to do the organization, because he's actually na- natural half, right? Dejan Asi isn't a runner. Mm. Get him to organize and you go back to running the ball. 100%. That'll work for him. It'll work a lot better than what, trying him to be the organizer. Or even use Clint Gutherson. Use Clint Gutherson. Get well, him to organise in attack. Yeah. yeah get him to organise. Because he, 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 he can do it. Of course, he can 100% do it. do it. He's very underrated. We spoke about this before. He can. He steps up to the plate when you put him under yep. pressure. And I feel like Brown is just in way over his head right now. Yeah, 100%. I do think Dylan Brown's a gun. Oh, 100%. Right? And I do think he can do a job there. But they've got to they gotta find a way where they're taking the pressure off him yeah, as the organiser. 100%. Because right? when he has an organiser with him, he's on, on par with one of the best five eights in the game. 100%. Completely Easy. agree with you. Completely agree with you. But until they get that done, and I don't think they'll get that done no. this week, it's going to be rough for them. I'm not going to lie that I love to see it. What? I love to see Parry getting pumped. Yeah, yeah, everyone does. It's a good slot. As a doggies fan, I fucking yeah, love Yeah, you'd love it. But I love Dylan Brown. Can't so it's the, like... Can't have the best of both. Nah, I'd rather, I'd rather get rather pumped. Rather get pumped, thank All you. right. But yeah, we've got Cowboys scoreboard, scoreline. 13 plus. Yeah, 13 plus. I think it's just a safe bet, say 13 plus. Yeah. All right, we move into the next game. 17th spot, Rabbitohs. <laughs> Against the fourth place, Sharks. Brother, what the fuck is that team, brother? Tell them. Uh, let's, let's, I, I have no idea. All right. Out for the for the Rabbitohs, right? you got uh, Isaac, Thompson, the Troll Mitchell. They're completely out. Mm. Okay. Replaced by Jai Gray and Tyron Munro. Finally, he's, he's, he's alive. Emerged. He's emerged. He's alive. Far out. Right? Jai Gray comes in who... Big raps and he's killing it for them in the lower yeah, is grades. Is he good? I was going to ask you about it. Killing him. it in the lower grades, but yeah. lower grades in NRL are two different means things. Nothing, he is by trade a 5'8". Uh, okay. By trade, but, you know, Is he playing 5'8 really in the lower grade? Uh, no, he's playing fullback. Oh, really? But by trade, he's a, he's a, and he's going good for him. Tyron, uh, Tyron Munro comes in on the wing, mm. right? Dean Hawkins still at halfback. Mm. Peter Mamazoulas comes in at number nine. Mm. Damien Cook dropped to the reserves. Ugh. What's that? I don't know. How don't do you use why. him as a scapegoat? I don't know. I have no idea. We'll talk about it. Talis Duncan as well. Dropped to the reserves. You've got Michael Chekam coming in to replace him. Sevilla Havili, who was in the lower grades last week. Now he's back up. Okay? Mm. Forward pack stays the same other than Mamazoulas at hooker. Right? Sharks. Uh, 1 through 18. The big ins for them is Brinton Nakora. <coughs> okay? He's Excuse back. Me. Uh, yeah, he's a big in. Toby Rudolph is um, on the extended bench, as well as Brendan Hamunueli. Uh Do I think they will play this game? I don't think no, I don't they think will. So right, but maybe one of them comes in last. Just uh, showing they're close to return. Last minute, yeah. All right. Ko Iro again. I've got to talk about this. Kept this spot. Kept this spot. All right. Yeah. Uh, even though Nakora came back, Talakai's been pushed to the bench. They've pushed Talakai down to the bench. Yeah. All right. Now let's talk about this. South Sydney have looked at all this and said, "You Cook, yeah, you." First, it was uh, what's his name? Elias. Oh, no, it Elias. was Elias. Elias. Yeah. You're not good enough, Gave mate. Him the flick, yeah. Then it was Cook. You're going to the bench. Havili, you're going to start. Then it was Havili. Your shit. Get out of here. Yeah. Completely dropped him. Cook, you, uh, Cook, you're, Cook, you're back, back in. in. Now it's Cook. You get, get your shit. Get out of the reserves. Not even the bench. Yeah. Reserves. Havili, you go back in. Yeah. This is. Um, Dimitri clutching at straws, trying to save his jobs. Cause what a shit show. Because, like we said it yesterday, me and Bill, he's got. And then Souths came out and said, You've got 80 minutes to save your job. That's the fucking dumbest thing. It's a lie. It's the dumbest thing. First of all, it's a lie. They have already planned the accident. 100%. He's gone. 100%. After this week, I promise you, you won't see him back there. No. And if you do, it's a fucking shit show. How do you name a squad like that? How do you get rid of Cook completely? Mamazoulis is not a bad replacement. But, but he's throwing in Mamazoulis like, go out and save my life. Go out and save my career. He's, yeah, the guy's exactly. played a handful of games. Literally. He threw Hawkins in there. 
in the deep end, produce the same shit that Elias was going to produce because Elias was not the problem. He's going to bring Mamazulis in. It's going to be the exact same shit because Cook wasn't the problem. He is the problem. Now, Latron Mitchell being out might be an up because they can get a bit of attack going from the back there. That's what Bill was saying. They, they might. But and they've, it, they've finally got some speed on, uh, on the field. It, there's a bit of me that hopes they win this game. Souths? Just for that slight chance that they re-sign Dimitri <laughs> and keep <laughs> nah, him there not. for a fucking another couple of years of shit show. The only way Dimitri keeps his job at this point is if the Rabbitohs pull off a Newcastle Knights. Oh, no, no chance. Ten games a row. No chance. That's the only way he keeps his job. Don't get me wrong. They have the fucking capability. Because they have the ability to win the comp. Yeah. 100%. For them to be sitting last, there's fucking problems. Oh, there. Huge problem. And we've spoken about it more than enough times on this podcast. We started talking about this last year. Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we did. There's a TikTok about it. On the TikTok. About it. If you're not following the TikTok, it's in the description below. Go follow. It's rough. What's going on there? Uh, but I don't know. Me and Bill spoke about it yesterday. Fifteen minutes. Mm. We broke down everything. We broke down the Troll Mutual. Broke down South Sydney. I don't know. And then now they're saying so. Caretaker was supposedly Ben Hornby. Yeah, no, no anymore. They're really talking about a caretaker. You coach a sack. Yeah, 100%. Would well, you see the new caretaker now? Yes, that's what I was going to say. Mal Meninga. Fucking beautiful. I don't know where that came from. That's beautiful if he accepts it. I don't know why well, he would. Why? I don't know why he would. Because he's got another role. Yeah, but I don't know why. He, why would you? Why would you come in, South Sydney, sinking ship, Yeah. right? You know you're going to get replaced next year. Yeah, 100%. Unless, oh, well, they can resign him if he wants to. They job. can, 100%. But... You're right. I don't know why he would take a sinking ship, but that will actually put his coaching career to the test because it's such an absolute shit show right now. And if he can turn them around, then fucking big raps on him. But I'm hoping it doesn't come. I agree, but also like uh, Ben Hornby as well. Like, do I want him to take the job? No, because I like Ben Hornby. Yeah, he was a Dragons fan. Fucking love Ben. Of Hornby. course, I love Ben. Yeah, I like. Why would like that's going to be his first job, right? It's career suicide. That's what I'm saying. Like this reminds me so much of Brett Kamali. When he took uh, when he took, took over the Sharks, Tigers. Oh, Tigers, Tigers, yeah. Like they see, even forgot yeah. the poor guy took over the Tigers it wasn't when they were li- not even a sinking ship because they were sunk. Yeah, they were gone. That was a destroyed ship, and they're like, "Bring us back up, son." With what? You can't float once you're already on the bottom. Well, fucking drowned dead. Drowning finished. dead, finished. And then they tried to bring him in, and now Souths. Now this is early on in the season. You're gonna have a long time with him. Yeah. You need a coach who who Latrell Mitchell is gonna listen to. 100%. I don't think that's been Hornby. No, no. Uh, Hornby, I know, I know personally because I had people playing reserve, like lower grades. Yeah, that were coached by him. Yeah. That were coached by him. He was too easy on on the players. Like, he was a good coach. Yeah. Too easy. The, the hard the hard hitter was Dean Young. He was the one pushing mm. pushing the show. If Dean, if, sorry, if Hornby doesn't have someone like Dean Young in his With coaching him. staff, He's going to get pushed over. Yeah. Walked all over. And it's going to be the same thing as Dimitri because Dimitri's being walked over by the players. Let's be yeah, b- by Latrell and Cody. Yeah, and we s- called it forever. And it'll be the same thing if Hornby takes We've over. We've called it forever. And, and like, we're talking about it now. Mm. Now, just for the first time ever in a press conference, Dimitri came out and said the two, the, the elbow that tried to kill Sean Johnson, the spear that tried to kill Toby Harris, he called them stupid plays. <sighs> first time we see him talk negative about Latrell. Yeah. First time. A little too late. Well, now he's trying to save his career. Yeah, a little at, too at late. this point, he should have done that last year. Pulled his finger out and dug his heels into the ground and like fucking listen to me. I'm the coach. Mm. He wouldn't be where he is now. I agree, completely agree, completely oh. agree. But so South is a shit show right now. Who do you have in this game? Sharks versus the Rabbitohs. <laughs> you know what? It's still not an easy one to tip because they're both fucking horrendous. Well, the Sharks sitting fourth, but they're so shit. They they've got their days. Sharks are obviously going to win. Yeah, they have, they, there's no way they don't. Surely by eight plus. But I think thirteen plus. Yeah. Yeah, I think thirteen plus. I feel like they still don't have those forwards that get it, get to go on. They're still out. When the core is back, begin. Yeah, there's a second one. Yeah, um, you got Hazelton still starting. Hazelton's all right, but that rotation they have, they're slim on props. Man. Yeah, but you got you you don't know maybe how many Ule or or uh, Toby Rudolph. Oh, even Talakai can fucking have a run in the prop. Oh, he won't play in prop. He, <laughs> he play can get a run in there, bro. He's a big boy. He, yeah, but he's way too fucking lazy to have a yeah, hit up every yeah, set. Yeah, that's true. All right. Yeah, but sharks. Yeah, sharks should win that pretty comfortably as well. All right, move on. Dragons should say Tigers v Dragons at Campbelltown Stadium. All right, mm. Sunday afternoon at Campbelltown. There's nothing like it. Yeah, well, what a fucking it's beautiful. What, what do they call it? The, 
what? Suburban ground. Yeah, you got to love it. It's so beautiful. Good, it's beautiful, all right? A lot of uh, ins and outs of the Tigers, right? You've got Bateman out and the two Fainu brothers out, which Bateman is a massive, massive loss. Yeah, he's replaced he's by Alex Seyfarth, who has been fucking on fire. He's been good, but I think he scored two tries in the last he's two games. He's so good. He yeah. comes, even coming off the bench, but he's been... Fire. 100%, all right? And then you've got Justin... Uh, Matamua, I don't know how to say his last name, but you know, uh, he comes in to replace uh, Fainu on the bench, as well as Asu Kapoa, replacing the other uh, the other Fainu brother. Now, mm. this is a game where it's so hard for me to tip because mm. you got the Tigers who you don't know what Tigers you're gonna get, yeah. and then you've got the Dragons who have gone win loss win loss, and now they're sitting on win. They're sitting on loss now. No, he's lost last Yeah, so, yeah, so they're going to sit on a, hopefully a win. A win, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Hopefully. They're sitting on a win. Yeah. So, I don't know how to go with this. All right, you got Ben Hunt, who's been fucking unbelievable for you guys. Lomax's been unbelievable. Lomax has been unbelievable. He's been the best winger of the season. I don't know if fucking... He's, the guy blows my mind. Yeah, right? <laughs> literally. I don't understand it. The betting odds are $1.82 to the Tigers, $2.02 to the Dragons. So, it's fucking very close, yeah, very even tough. the betting lines. Yeah, very tough. Right? right? I honestly don't see how the Dragons win this game. Well, are you going to give the Dragons line-up or no? No, well, who, are you guys, well, who, your, your forwards? I don't, I don't know. No, it's literally 1 through 18. It's the exact same team. Hame Sele comes into the starting side. Hame Sele comes into the starting side. The Black Lorry gets bench. dropped. Jig, uh, the Bellin gets dropped. As, yeah, Black Lorry was dropped last week. The Bellin gets dropped this week. Come on, it makes no sense. Yeah. All right. But it's a rotation. You don't know. Watch right before, 10 minutes before the game. Isaac Hook is going to get dropped. Yeah, yeah. He's going to go up. <laughs> uh, no, you're fooling no one. Literally, we know it. We, you're fooling we know no the one. tactic. Fucking Fatala Marino or whatever is going to go to lock. The Black Glory went to lock last week, actually. Yeah. That's just dumb. Started, yeah. First of all, after last week's game, I know it was wet, wet weather footy. But this bloke came out to the press conference talking a big game. I'm going to drop and I'm going to throw and I'm going to cut and I'm going to paste. Done nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> nothing. Fucking Blake Laurie needs to do, go on. He needs a stint in reserve grade. Yeah. Having him on the bench literally brings no impact on the field. Bring him on when they're tired and he still won't dent the line. Yeah, he's tired running on. <laughs> literally. He needs to go. I see no changes. He need, he need, He doesn't need to go. He needs to get dropped to reserve grade. That's what I'm saying. Just to be like, listen, you fucking need to pull up. Yeah, you're being lazy. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame anyone for the loss last week because the wet weather was fucking intense. Right, I wouldn't have dropped any like besides Laurie. I wouldn't have been talking a big game. Drop this, drop that. I don't mind the team. I just don't talk a big game. Yeah, I feel like we will get up, but we'll win. Yeah, yeah. By like eight points. I think if Galvin was there, it's a, a sure thing for the Tigers. But I think with him out, it's not a sure thing, and they win by four. Don't get me wrong, Caesar has been fucking on fire. He's been so good. He's been playing so well. It's so good. And even, uh, what's his name from the Dragons? The one that went to the Tigers? 5'8". Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah. Played all right last week. Told you he needs a cool head next to uh, like He a, done okay. Done okay. He didn't do as bad as everyone yeah, thought he would. he done would. okay. He'll get better with... But last week team. you put Galvin in that team, they win that game. 100%. Yeah. 100%. That's the difference between Sullivan and Galvin. <sighs> it's, it's a rough one for me to tip. I know Dragons with my heart, Dragons by 8. But the Tigers have been producing some good football. They're not the Tigers. Even that even when they lose, yeah. they look good. They're not the Tigers from the first r- second round because they had the first round off. Yeah, they came out. They got mopped. They looked like they had no direction. Something has changed. Over well, I think Caesar's really changed. He's given them attacking direction. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And they look on fire, bro. Yeah. It's He's given them an organi- an organizer. Coruscant, I think this game absolutely goes crazy. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think it goes crazy because your forwards, right? Other than. Um, Eisenhuth yeah. and the Bellin are lazy in defense. Very much so. Sua lazy in defense, and you got the other bloke who even in attack is lazy. No, nah, he's been alright. He's been doing. Right. He has better than the fucking first game. Yes, he's been doing. Luciano right. Lelua, but in defense, they are lazy. Very lazy. Right? If they can get, if they get targeted, bro, they'll, they'll run straight through you. But I do got the Tigers by four. In in saying that, if both teams come out firing, I reckon the Dragons will come out on top. Yeah. If both teams come out firing. You think both teams play into their full potential? They yeah, we've got a better win? direction. In, in the halves, we've got better direction. That is direction. true. That is true. Ben Hunter, as good as Caesar's going, Ben Hunter's a better player. 100%. Yeah. Um, but no, I do see Tigers winning by four. But close one. I can see it going both ways. Yeah, yeah. I just can't trust the Dragons. No one can. I can't trust I the Dragons. I cannot trust the Dragons. I can't. Yeah. All right, move on to the final game of the round. 
Raiders v Titans. Raiders. Every time you say it, the the drop starts. They get to, get, get a win. Fuck me. <laughs> Every time you say it, they get a win. All right. They don't let me have my like. I've said they're going to go on a slope, but they just keep proving me wrong. But they're playing very good football. So good, bro. Very good football. All right, you got Corey Horsbar and Jordan Rapana out. Uh, Jordan Rapana, is a big, big, out. big, big out. out. But they do have Chevy Stewart coming in. Now, he is someone they've been talking highly about for Rick a very Stewart's long son. time. I'm joking. Uh, no, he's just, uh, <laughs> no, he's just sh- happens to share the same last name, all right? It's built differently. That's it. All right, Chevy Stewart comes in. Um, they've been talking a big game about him for a long time, so he gets his chance. All right, you got... Uh, Corey Hosber's been dropped. Yeah. All right. uh, he makes way for... Um, who is it coming back in? Uh, Trey Mooney. Oh, yeah. Trey Mooney. He's on Zach the bench, Ho- isn't he? He's on the bench. Hosking into the starting lineup. Yeah. Finally. All right. Finally. Good, good player. Yeah. He's good, been good a, player. Been Before excellent. he got dropped, he was the best player in the league. He's been excellent. All right. He's, he's unbelievable. He's, been excellent. he's honestly unbelievable. All right. He comes back into the starting lineup. And then the Raiders are just one through eighteen. You got Ethan Strange, who is every week looks fucking better he's and better. He's so good, bro. Better and better Where did he every come week. From? He's Canberra. Is he? Yeah, Canberra. He's, Boy been, from Canberra. he's been solid. Yeah, he's been very good. Right, Ethan Strange. I heard on the that his mum lives with him in Canberra. Oh, nice. Packs his lunch. Yeah. Does everything. You need for that family him. support. Of course, and she's there with him, helping him out, and you'd love to see it. Yeah. Right, he's killing her on the field. James Schiller has been a revelation on the wing. He has been. Right? K- Kotrick is back. He's still got his spot. He's been so good. And Xavier Savage, wow. He's finding form. At bro, the st- bro. He, he, he's, he's rocks and diamonds. He's too. rocks and diamonds. But when he's on, bro, like last week that try yeah, he's a was freak. unbelievable. And he's got fucking pace. Speed. Bro, he's got speed to, to burn. To burn, bro. Yeah, bro like he, he looked good. That try stepped from his own 30 meter line straight through the line. Looked at Gutherson and laughed. Yeah, literally. Laughed. They didn't even step. Gutherson Ran could not him. do nothing. Ran around him. And that's what they're lining up against. They're lining up against the Titans who... um, No real big ins and outs. Okay, you do have... Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, not Tino, but his younger brother. Isaac Fasso Malawi. He's uh, back, but I don't know if he's going to start. You also got Isaac Liu. Named um, on the bench. Yeah. They've been missing him for a very long time. Okay. David Fafida, first game starting last week, he absolutely killed it with his that running w- meters. Yeah, but I feel like they're relying on him so much. But it was a one man show. Now, as long as. Yeah, two man show. As who? Jaden Campbell, Jane 100%. Campbell. As long as Tanner Boyd stays at halfback, Titans will not get a win. 100%. The, the moment that Des Hasler goes Tanner Boyd, you're dropped. Kieran Foran, go to halfback. Brimson, go to 5'8. Cowboys, uh, the Titans will get the 100%. Pressure. Even with that, though, I feel like as soon as Tino got injured, they have cemented that wooden spoon spot. For me, Titans have no way coming back. I agree. There's, I think I think, no they, I think they've got the wooden spoon. I think it's way too early to call wooden spoon. By no, the way. Yeah, I'm calling But, them. yeah, no, I, I tend to agree with you, man. Tino is such an integral part. He was the heart and soul of such the Titans. Such an integral part of that team. 100%. And he's gone. Campbell, right. as much as he does on the field, he's only a fullback at the end of the day. He can't do much. He plays out of his skin. Yeah, Even you got you, you, Without the go forward or the forwards, the backs can't do anything. Yeah, and he still seems to produce yeah. a shining light. 100%. But you do got... Like, let's talk about... I'm going to talk about Tanner Boyd. He's got to go. 100%. I he agree. He has to go. I agree. Kieran Fon has to move to halfback. Yeah. And Brimson has got to be in five... Why would... One of your most devastating players, right... Most devastating players. You put him in the centers, Wasting you lose him. so much. Wasting. Now I understand if he's playing centers. If you had a gun half, if you had gun halves or a gun fullback, they do have a gun fullback. But yeah. the half back can be dropped easily. A hundred percent, and they won't, they'll get better. I'm sure, even if they bring a rookie in at this point from their reserve grade, he'll do better. One hundred percent. Yeah, he'll do better. The fact that you thought Drew Hutchison at one point was the worst half back in the game, you had not seen Tanner Boyd at that point. Uh. You know, going off this year, Tanner Boyd's been the worst. By far. Yeah. By, by a country more. Yeah, he's been the worst. He's been How the does worst. he still get named every week? I don't know. Fucking Des Haslap, super coach apparently. Yeah. How the fuck do you keep him there? I have no idea. I but honestly have no idea. Well, I was talking about this yesterday. How does the whole world see... We all say the same thing. Yeah. But these coaches don't. Don't see it. What goes, I don't know. What goes on? Like, I don't know. I, re- I wish I knew the answer. You, you see it. I see it. I Bill no sees idea. it. I'm sure every Titans fan sees it. Uh, every rugby league fan sees it. They see Tanner Boyne get named against their team, they get fuck yeah to win. 100%. Because the halfback isn't going to do shit. He's actually poor. He's hopeless. He's, he's very bad, okay? 
uh, you know, we do wish him the best in life, but we do wish he had know, some skills. He should too. not be playing rugby league. No, at the first at first grade. If he wants to be my apprentice, I'll take him on board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you have for that game? Raiders Titans. Raiders by a country mile. Yeah, 13 Raiders plus. thirteen plus hundred percent easily. And Panthers have the bye, okay? So That's right, they needed it. Two easy points for the Panthers. Yeah, they, so they do think that um, Cleary comes back in next week. Yeah. All right, that's the episode. That's the uh, preview done. Uh, let us know in the comment section below about who you think is going to win, who you think is going to lose, all the things we spoke about today. Again, let us know about the South Sydney situation. To give your two cents about it. That's what the comment section is for. All right, go to the description below. As I said earlier, our TikTok is there. So is our Instagram. Make sure you follow us on both our uh, our platforms. Okay, like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell. Stay notified. Hit the button. All right, Ring. and we'll see you next week. Peace. Absolutely.